In today's episode, I'm going to give you some physiological tips for weight loss. Hello everybody and welcome to the Walking and Talking Show episode 49. Your host, Francisco Carreño, the Eclectic Guy. In today's episode, we're going to talk about your gut health and some tips for weight loss. You have probably heard about intermittent fasting or you know, alternating the time that you take your food with the time that you fast in a, a little bit special manner. For example, a typical approach is 16 hours of fasting and a window of 8 hours of feeding. Um, that is actually a good approach and people lose weight among other metabolic benefic benefits. Some of the benefits from fasting are related with your gut bacteria. And it happens that when you starve your bacteria for a little bit, your bugs release fasting-induced adipocyte factor. Basically, this factor helps you burn fat. So before you go crazy with fasting, stop right there. Don't go too crazy. Don't stop eating just because they say that intermittent fasting is going to help you do it. There's another study recently published that found out the following. They distributed the calories same amount of calories more calories in breakfast than dinner and another group more calories and dinner than breakfast but at the end of the day the same amount of calories and by the way this goes to everybody that is just counting calories as the only tool to control their weight so this is the result when they put more calories in the breakfast and i remember it was 700 calories at breakfast 500 at lunch and only 200 at dinner and the other group was the opposite was 200 breakfast 500 lunch and 700 dinner when you focus you when you concentrate your calories at breakfast they had better results on weight loss insulin sensitivity ghrelin levels everything was better so those two facts that intermittent fasting uh, and concentrating your calories in breakfast bring good results are in conflict so what do you do let me tell you something you can mimic the fasting but still having a lot of calories wait a minute mimicking fasting but having calories yes it's called not eating carbohydrates at breakfast eating high fat a minimal amount of protein or no protein that is going to depend if you have a lot of weight to lose you might include a little bit of protein because it's going to help you to you know readjust your leptin sensitivity but anyway the point is that you have a high fat absolutely no carbs in the morning and I say no carbs is no carbs, period. You can do that. One example is Dave Asprey, the author of the Bulletproof Diet. He started the day with a Bulletproof Coffee, which is basically a super high quality organic uh, mold free coffee with butter, grass fed uh, cow's butter and MCT, medium chain triglycerides, which is like a concentrated form of coconut oil with all these fatty acids. That happens to give you the calories, which is related with those benefits from that study because your brain gets the, the feeling that, okay, we're eating the calories, we, we uh, feel satiated, but at the same time, it doesn't feed the, the bacteria, so the bacteria keep releasing that factor that helps you burn more fat. So you have two benefits in one. And that is the, the episode of today. I hope you find value and, and new strategies to actually think about it because it works. I mean, eating a high fat breakfast keeps you satiated for a long time so you can put your next 
your next intake at, at that time with no problem. Hope you are enjoying your day and eating more fat and less carbs. Have a good one.